We are here with Freddie, Freddie Mercury. <laughs> yes, that's Freddie Mercury to sing with us today. Hello, hello. I can dim the lights and sing you songs full, full of sad things. We can do the tango just for two. I can serenade and gently play upon your heartstrings. Be your valentine just for you. Ooh, love. Ooh, love a boy. What you do tonight? Hey, boy. Set my alarm. Turn on my charm. That's because I'm a good old-fashioned lover boy. <laughs> Ooh, let me feel your heart beat faster, faster. Ooh, can you feel my love heat? Come on and sit on my hot seat of love and tell me how do you feel right after? Like to take you and can go, go romancing. Say the word, your wish is my command. Ooh, love. Ooh, love a boy. What you doing tonight, hey boy? Well, write my letter, feel much better, and use my fancy pad on the telephone. Okay. When I'm not with you, I think of you always. I miss you. When I'm not with you, think of me always, love you, love you. Hey boy, where'd you get it from? Hey boy, where did you go? I learned my passion from the good old fashioned school of lover boys. Break time. <laughs> If anyone out there thinks that it is, you are like a tug of war. Yeah. If any, I thought I knew this song to sing it. I don't. Mm -hmm. But I do. Yes, you do, Freddie. You do. If anyone can believe, this is the picture that John drew this off of. <laughs> and actually seeing them compared now. Hi, Fred. Hey. I use the sketch. I love this photo of myself, too. It really looks, you know, my teeth don't look outlandish in it. There's something that I don't know if it's touched up or what. Yeah. But uh, I like the sketch because there's liveliness to it. Right. He got my eyes. He got the laughing eyes. Yeah. This John did this one of Fred. Mm. Nice teeth, though, really. Yeah. Well, listen. Uh, again, it's not technical proficiency or efficiency we're looking for. It's just the channel. And yeah, hi everybody. It's Fast Freddy. It is. It is Mercury retrograde, and as a rule, Lena and John have me in. Uh, you know, with that love energy that is so prevalent uh, during this time. Mm -hmm. Is that true, Mercury retro? Well, yes, it is good for the lovers, especially. Uh, old lovers meeting up again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels like that, doesn't it, Lena? It does. It really does. You know that? Mm. So, yeah, Freddie Mercury, it's hard to sing your songs. Yeah, you do a bang up job, but yeah, but you don't listen to him enough, so you don't know him uh, by rote. But yeah, we'll finish out. We'll do the outro and, and let me take over completely. You'll see how easy it is. Now, look. I wanted uh, runes today, so Lena was kind enough to pull a couple of runes from the old uh, bagaroo. Mm. Praise be to God and Mother. Ding a ling a ling. Well, you didn't get a bell. It's all right. Uh, both of these stand for there's uh, Thor and uh, also the warrior. They both stand for protection and divine guidance. Mm -hmm. And they also uh, represent the yin and the yang, the female and the male energy, which is prevalent. I wanted to say that a Montserrat is here with me. Hi, Montserrat. Yeah. Um, my twin flame. Mm -hmm. And you should do a picture. She, you know, picture her now, really, uh, and myself, just in perfect physical form. She's lost all, you know, she doesn't no longer carries that weight in the in the afterlife. 
She's, uh, you know, she's she's bouncy and light as a feather. Right. Here's one for her, my my uh, twin flame. Ah, that. Look at that. Uh, energy and going up, going my way, baby. Yes, and we're all, and we're going up. Mm -hmm. And this was all John wanted from you today was just to do that song and to bring me in. And we, you, you know, you know, I, I gotta say what Freddie's showing me right now. He's showing me my channel, uh, my, and he's showing it what looks like a like a rotor rooter, like a. Uh, a, a screwdriver going or whatever you want to say going through the tunnel uh, going through the channel yeah and just clearing away and there's not a lot to clear no there's not a lot to clear well gracie from uh jefferson airplane slash starship last night mentioned uh psilocybin microdose and you and johnny made sure to do that today and you got christopher in on it also mm. and you all did a nice little mushroom dose today and that's a that's a that's a rotor rooter right there. Mm -hmm. That's a rotor rooter right there, taking you uh, a little bit closer to the gods. Yeah. So right now, this this one stands for uh, Jera, and it is cycles. Mm -hmm. And these things go in cycles. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a that's a clever looking uh, uh, sketch that on that on that ruin. I like it. It also again we're seeing the yin and the yang here. Mm -hmm. But cycles and relationship cycles and the, in the twin flame relationship, uh, it's always hot and heavy. In a true twin flame relationship, it's always hot and heavy. But yeah, there are cycles of rest and regeneration where you have to uh, talk and, you know, kind of cool down a little bit and allow your minds to meet, you know? Yes. Right. So this is this we're in the middle of that. Uh, phase. Praise be God and Mother. Beautiful, beautiful day out here in the Outer Realms, too. Listen, your little cat, Maisie, I know she's doing so much better that she's beating you up again. What is with that cat that she's always nasty to me when she starts feeling better? She only comes to me when she's uh, like a little angel when she's sick. Sounds like a lot of children, doesn't it, really? Well, I guess so. She's She loves you to death. But yeah, she's a hazard. Yeah. But I am proud to announce that she's not here right now. She's jumped over. She went inside. She's got a whole scene going on inside. But but she was here briefly earlier, and she was beating up on me. That's partnership, the, the next one. Mm, Gabo is a gift. You gave her the gift of a home. You gave her the gift of a life. Mm. That little cat wouldn't have really been long for the world without the love you have. I think I could say the same for... Just about everything that you have brought into your home. Yeah. But they get spoiled. They forget where they came from. They just feel very entitled and very... You treat them so, so well that they just, you know, they forget. Or take, take it for granted what it was that you gave to them. And they just always, you know... Figured you'd always be there to give that to them so they can be little spoiled brats because she didn't like that you gave her medicine and she got piffy with you and she scratched, scratched you. Yeah, but it wasn't really an all out scratch. It was just, a, yeah, it was just one of her nasty moments. Mm. And she knows you don't hold it against her, but she also knew to get the hell out of Dodge, <laughs> let mommy cool off. Right. Mm. Yeah, I got my own problems, man. Yeah. Well, this is yours, and this stands for strength. Mm -hmm. Stands for strength. You're stronger than you know, and so is that little bitch. Right. So what are you going to do tonight? Oh, I saw you watch that Truman Capote thing. That was great. Yeah. Really, great. we're going to be having Truman in very soon. So um, we watched a, a, a detailed uh, documentary about his life, and I, I really like him a lot. I, I like him more than I ever did after watching that documentary. I understand how he is. I understand what somehow I, I feel a, a, a kinship with Truman Capote. Well, I just wanted to tell you he's very excited, and yes, he's also staying over on the other side. Mm. And Andy Warhol is here, and he wants to say hello to you too. Um, 
Hi, Andy. Hello. <laughs> I figured you're not going to talk to me anymore. No, Andy, I'll always talk to you. What are you talking because of the your twin flames behavior? Yeah, pick me a ruin if you could. You're going to spill the beans on your uh, nasty little twin there? Well, you know what? You said it earlier. Um, when people lash out as quickly as she did for absolutely, really, no, nothing you did, Lena. It was nothing you did. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it, this stands, it, this, this is ha Hagalas and it stands for transformation. Mm -hmm. it stands for transformation. And some transformations are painful. And her transformation is one of the most painful ones is that of an addict trying to get straight. Mm -hmm. And yeah, she was horribly jealous because he or she has her relationship with me, mm -hmm. Andy. And uh, all of a sudden, here's this girl talking to, to, to her twin flame, you. And these women, you're right, Lena, they have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, thank you, Andy. That's quite a right. I'm happy to say hello and we'll talk privately. Okay. Um, Fred? Yeah. Well, that, 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 that's, uh, ah, missed my point. Um, no, but nobody's fault, but, uh, give me a, just a half a second. All right. Mm. Oh, well, Michael Jackson was in earlier and he said the same thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's, he's got the same, uh, situation, right? You know, these women, they really can't handle it. And Lena, you have always been so acutely aware of that. Like, oh, I wouldn't like that either. If some woman came through and she's like, well, I talk to John uh, when you're not around. Right. And I've heard that from people. Yes, but that was never the, the case with you, with John. That's the difference. And these twin flames of these other guys, like Warhol and, and the rest, ja Michael Jackson and the rest, they know you're the real thing. They know it. Mm -hmm. So think, of, and you have put yourself in their place. It's pay, it must be if you're there's okay. A big part of this twin flame journey is the jealousy aspect. It's a really big hurdle, right? Really big hurdle to get through. And that's part of the dark night of the soul. And it's part of a learning uh, to control your jealousy and to become uh, firm enough in your own self-esteem and to lose that ego um, and just be like, uh, well, what's the thing? Uh, how mo many people think, I just want you to love me. I don't want you to love anyone else. I don't want you to talk to anyone else. I, I don't want you to be in communication with anyone else. I just want you to love me. That's not possible in God's world. God created us all so that we could be friends and love each other. But the twin flame relationship will always be exclusive. And that's something that these people need to learn, that you are not a threat to them and that you're not after <laughs> whatever it is they want. Another thing that they have a problem with is the more they see your relationship with John, and I'm not saying you're not supposed to be sharing it because that is your only job right now. Mm -hmm. But the more they see you of your relationship with John, the more envious they become. I want that. And Lena said, she points them all in the direction. Hey, I studied with this Reiki teacher, Lisa Guyman. I studied with Eckhart Tolle. I studied with Ram Das. I have has studied with, uh, and intensively with Dr. Joshua David Stone. I have learned how to meditate. I have learned how to uh, levitate, whatever you want to call it. But all of these women are considerably younger than Lena, who is uh, just in her 60th year now. And Lena explains to them, listen, I didn't start getting real good at this crap until 10 years ago. You chippies are all, nobody's a day over 40 if they're that old. And they expect, I want, but I want to do what you do. The her. It's not going to happen, folks out there. She's showing you how to get there, but you got a bit of a journey ahead of you. And many of you have twin flames down. Yeah, Peter Ham, Andy Warhol, they've reincarnated. And, and you can't get that through your thick skulls. So if you can't even pick up on that, then you got a ways, right? Mm. That's my word. My word. My word. 
Proud of you. Thanks, Fred. Proud of you and Johnny. Thanks, Fred. John, feel so happy. Me too. Oh my God, the ruin for joy. Woonjo. I think that's a good one to go out on. Yeah. It just means utter joy and love and peace and, and satisfaction. And uh, we're going to end up with, uh, we're going to do a little bit of Freddy for the dead let uh thanks a lot fred for coming through happy Mer mercury retrograde that's quite all right freddie is the god mercury yeah da -da 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 two three and <gasps> dining at the ritz we'll meet at nine precisely i will pay the bill you taste the wine um uh, Driving back in style in my saloon will do quite nicely. Just take me back, yours, that will be fine. Ooh, love. Ooh, love, oh boy. What you doing tonight? Hey, boy. Everything's all right. Just hold on tight. That's because I'm a good old fashioned lover boy. Excellent. Much better than before. No, no. It was all very, very good and all very, very fine. Let's take one more look at Fred Mercury. Oops, everything's falling. Well, time to go. Praise be God and Mother. We love you, uh, home team, and thank you again. Uh, that's it, right, John? Let's go. I love you so much. I love you so much, too. Fast Freddy Mercury, Montserrat Cabal, Mother and Father. Lovers and friends. Lovers and friends.